Ah, nee. Ja. Oh. Help! 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 Ik moet het weer <laughs> yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. We are here in the garage, and uh, we're expecting a big snowstorm up here in dirty Jersey, getting about 15 to 18 inches of snow in the next two days or so. So, yeah. So um, we're here to give you some content. Want to do this video just to follow up on the uh, prediction video that me and Jerry have posted about a it might have been like two months ago, if I'm not mistaken. So the video, if you didn't see that video, just to go over it real quick, uh, which is the video where we sat down, we spoke about all the predictions that we uh, thought Harley Davidson was gonna do for the new 21 launch. Stuff we hoped for the Stuff we hoped uh, they would come out with, stuff that we thought they were gonna get rid of, bikes, uh, parts, uh, engine sizes, and etc. So we were wrong maybe about two things out of like the 10 things that we mentioned. Yeah. So I think first what we should do is that uh, we should start with the with the bikes that we thought. Well, no, we, let's start with the bikes that we mentioned that were gonna be going off the platform. So we mentioned the FXDR. Uh huh. That was one that got X'd out. Um, the deluxe. We mentioned the deluxe also got X'd out. Unfortunately, wah, wah, wah. beautiful bike. I I really I really hate to see that bike go. The breakout. The breakout. I hated to see it. You hated to see the breakout go? Yeah. Why? I, mean, I don't know. It was kind of cool, I guess. It was growing on me. The breakout's yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I prefer a fat boy over a breakout. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it was, it was all right, you know? It's, uh, the, the breakout's like a big European market bike. Like, I don't know what it is about Europeans, but they love those big fat tires in the back. Yeah. And, and the fat, real thin front tire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they love that thing over there. So we mentioned the breakout. Um, I think those, those are the ones that we got correct. The one that we got wrong was the Sport Glide. We said the Sport Glide was gonna be X'd out, and it wasn't. But there was another bike that we the didn't low mention rider. that got X'd out. Uh, the low, which, regular low rider. The regular low rider got X'd out, and um, funny, because you, you had mentioned that, right? Yeah, because we, we, I mentioned it, and you said, that's never gonna happen, and then we mentioned the Street Glide, the Street, the... The Sport Glide. Sport Glide. Yeah. And we then we figured you know that we didn't we thought that was going to go for sure because it wasn't you know selling that well. This is this is what the second time that Harley Davidson cuts this uh, the, the low rider. rider. Yeah, second time. Yeah, because my my, my Dyna is a fifteen, and from two thousand and nine ish ten, they they took a break and then they brought it back out in fourteen again. Yeah. And then prior to that, it was always on the line. So this, this is the second time that they cut it off the line. Um, who knows? We'll probably get it back in a few years. Maybe. Well, they have the S, so they still have an A low rider. Yeah, it's just not the base low rider. I mean, the the S is what everybody wants. When yeah. we think about the the low rider, that's why they did it. Because I mean, they put, the pro thing is too, they brought the street bob up to the low rider because they put the pegs on it, they put a pillion on it, and they put the bigger motor in it, yeah. which the low rider didn't have. Had a one set, but yeah. it was a two up bike. Yeah, yeah, you're right about that. Um, I mean, sad to see the low rider go. Um, there, there is a lot of people that do like just you know the stock low rider. Mm -hmm. um, so we didn't mention that. Was that a good price one. point too? Uh, yeah, I think it was price good. Well, yeah, fourteen ish. Thirteen change. I thought it was fourteen ish. Fourteen, 14 five. At first it was fourteen seven two years ago. Then they dropped the price down to hundred dollars last year uh, okay. when it wasn't selling that much. Um, so that was one thing. Um, I think that that's the one. Let me see. Did we mention anything else for the bikes, touring bikes, or anything? I think that was it. No, and then we talked about, we, well, we found out about the cable clutch afterwards and then the ECM. Yeah, well, let, let, let's let's finish the, with the stuff that we were... Um, Wrong about. Yeah, well, so let, let's let's go into the um, <clears throat> the, the bagger. So we, we mentioned that they were going to get rid of the 107s. And go chrome and, and black option. So, all right. So we were No, right. hold on. Let, let's, let's go about the wrong part first and then we'll hop into that. Okay. So we mentioned that they were gonna get rid of the 107s on all the all the baggers and just keep it at 114, yeah. which just yeah, it would make the most sense. 
but they didn't do that. Nope. They kept the 107. Uh, what we got right was what? Chrome and black option on the on the, the well we thought it was on all special, but it's only on the specials. Yeah, which is cool. Yeah, I, I, I think it's great I because it's it gives cool. you an option. You don't have to. I mean, the stand is still probably the best for the money, even though it is a 107 and it's chrome. You don't get some of the options you get on the special, but there's a huge price difference too. You know, I mean, the stand is gonna be twenty one thousand dollars, and the special is gonna be twenty seven. It's yeah. like five, five, six thousand dollars. After taxes and everything, it's you're looking at a thirty-two thousand dollar bike. Yes, it's a lot. To... And for no significant changes in the past four years, minor changes, cosmetic changes, gas tank, center console. I do like jobs. the new gas tank. What? I do like the new gas. Tank. I do. I, I like it too. I'm, I'm, I'm glad they gave you something. Yeah. Because to leave it the same as last year would have been like no. Yeah. Well, well, we we were just before we uh, started the video, we were talking about um, Harley Davidson revamping the bagger line again, and next couple of years, I think. You think so, right? I would hope. I, I let me not say I think. I would hope Harley is listening, and they would actually change something in the next couple of years because they haven't changed the the touring chassis since two thousand nine. They did some minor stuff in 2014 but the frame itself hasn't been changed since 2009 yeah and once they change the frame then they would obviously change everything out yeah um, I, i'm hoping monoshock better suspension i i still don't understand why they don't have monoshocks on on, on baggers like well i mean i can't understand <laughs> like you were talking you're in love with the red and black no secret he's the in love with the red and black red and black road glide special for 2021 but it's thirty thousand dollars and your suspension sucks. There's gonna be a follow up video to that uh, as well. As soon as the the rope clears out, all the salt and everything, yeah. I want to do like a ride video because I, I know you guys don't like doing ride videos, like watching those, and I like doing ride videos too. So I, I'm just waiting for that, and uh, I'll go out. We'll talk about the discussion. But um, yeah, I am in love with that bike. Yeah, it might be the bike for the channel, the new bike. It might not be. Who knows? <laughs> What else? I think that that's all we mentioned about. Well, we were hoping for one fourteens in the regular bikes, one seventeens in the CVOs. We not talking one one seventeens in the specials, one thirty ones in the CVOs. In the CVOs, but they didn't get that either. They got no. regular one seventeens. Uh, well, there's some rumors about some programs they're coming out with, and possibility you can order a bigger engine in the bike. We'll see. It's supposed to be some big announcements later this year. Now, what we what we both agreed on as well is something that we obviously what we wanted to see. We yes. weren't we weren't really expecting this for this year, but something that we want to see on touring models is um, modes, rider you modes. know, rider modes, rider modes. rain oh modes, God. a sport mode on it, you know, like an eco mode, whatever you want to put on it. These three or four Even modes. Even on the one fourteen, that would make a huge difference if you can get a five percent more increase in horsepower on the sport mode, but then. When you need to cut back on the torque or the power because it's raining out, that would be great. Yeah, that'd be that. I mean, they had the RDRS, but that's like traction control. That's what traction like. though. It's like if you're on a on a hill or something. It's yeah, like yeah, you yeah, know, hill assist and all that crap. Yeah, you don't you don't need that. But riding modes, I think I, I think w when they do revamp everything, that I think that's one of the things they'll focus on. Hopefully, yes. Because and that that'll make it you know, and better I, gauges like the TFT. If they did TFT displays instead of. Having your gauges on your bike, it might be digital gauges. Yeah, for future that'd baggers, be awesome. that'd be pretty cool. Like that'd digital gauges as well. You know, that'd be something cool. But going back to uh, everything else, we so we spoke about the baggers. So those are the only things that we mentioned that we thought we were expecting that we didn't yes. or whatever. Um, what else did we mention? On the soft tails, we just mentioned about the models being cut. We knew there wasn't going to be any significant changes. Because yeah. of the, they, they changed it in 2018. The biggest news was the 114 added to the street bob, along with the, the passenger pillion and the pegs. Other than that, and and but the, the big, the kind of a big thing, was because they didn't get rid of sport glide. They did painted match saddlebags, yeah. which look awesome. The sport glide. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like sport glide. Didn't I say sport glide? Or did I say street glide? I get confused sometimes. Well, on the sport glide. I own a street glide, so I get a little, yeah. you know. So on the sport glide, that, that, that was a big thing. If you guys haven't seen my, my uh, review on the sport glide of 2021, just scroll down. It's there. Yeah. Um, beautiful bike. I think that that was the right decision to get that bike uh, color match with the bags. A good decision, 114 would have been better. 
do this front brakes. Do all this front brakes, yeah. You know, little stuff like that. But then, was, would have, then we would add our mini bagger we were talking about. Exactly. A little higher windshield. Exactly. Would have been perfect. T talking about mini baggers, like, now that I want to ask you, and, and I know that you, you're not a big fan of it, but um, from a business standpoint of view and from what everything, everything that's going on in the culture right now, do you think they should revamp the FXRT fairing and bring it back? No. I know you're a hater, but why? I'm not a hater. I know you do. You're the biggest FXRT hater in the world, you know that? No, it's because the thing was butt ugly when it came out in the 80s and now everybody loves it. But the ones that, I mean, they can make some money because the ones that are out there aren't the greatest and they could probably do a better job. Yeah, but if you revamp it, like if, you know. You mean like come out with bikes with that? I don't think it would, I don't know if they would sell. I don't know if they would sell. It's, it would add a great expense to the front of the bike. Like you're you're gonna you're gonna put that fairing on. It's like putting a road. I would rather see them get a smaller road glide fairing on these bikes. That would be badass. But that that that's like FX RT fairing. What do you mean? No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's, the FX RT is more rounded. The shark nose would look way better on this bike. Hmm. I think so. Nah. I think the, yeah, I think so. So how about this? Something in in the in the crossbone of both of those fairings. Yeah. Because the, the like thing, any, like a medium sized fairing. Yeah. The the thing is that the 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 mini fairing that they put on the sport glide is is it is yeah. Any, it's like a mini bat wing. It's too it's, doesn't really look right. It doesn't look good. It, I like it from you know or whatever. But if if you're talking about a fairing, it, it should be more wind protection, more coverage. It should have something oh, let more. Let me tell you, surprisingly, when we did the lowrider S versus the street bob comparison. The little bikini fairing that comes on there, the little speed fairing, whatever, makes a huge ass difference when it's 28 degrees out. Because I froze my ass off. I was getting like a little tiny bit of wind, but when I got on the street bob, I was freezing. Yeah. Because it, no it, it, it that no. burns everything up a little higher, yeah. you know? But just that little tiny fairing makes yeah. a huge difference. And then when you put a road warrior, like when I ride this thing, I feel like I got a regular fairing on it. Yeah, but the road warrior protects yeah, a lot. Yeah, protects a lot. Of Especially with that size. What do you got on there? Uh, it's uh, 11 inch. 11 inch. Yeah, 11 inch. Yeah. Yeah, I love that thing. That's I think it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, the, with the risers, with the bars, I think it's perfect even for me. I might yeah. Talking about that, we are doing a install video on the Dyna. So we got another Road Warrior fairing. So that's going to be coming up soon. I'm going to get a color match and everything for the bike and the risers and everything. It's a bunch of stuff. I, we, I did the video. If you didn't see that video of everything, all the parts that got laying down in the back right here. There's a lot of install videos coming up soon, so tune in for that. Also, do you want to plug in your your uh, your big news for everybody to view right now? I'm unofficially right now starting my own channel. I have no videos posted Officially, yet. unofficially. <laughs> unofficially, unofficially. <laughs> I, I think like, that... It's not official because I don't have any videos out yet. It doesn't matter, but it's, it's, it's a startup. All right, so I, st I officially started my own YouTube channel. Uh, it's called Old School Jerry. Um, it, it's on, you know, on YouTube right now. It's old school Jerry. Uh, Once we get some content on there, we're gonna be linking everything up. You guys yeah. go follow Jerry. Um, so we're we're gonna be. My Instagram doing some cool is old school Jerry too, but it's under. Slash uh, are, or something are, like that. are you gonna have me on your channel for talks? Absolutely. You yeah. probably be my first guest. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we gotta we gotta have a cheers to that. Yeah. Man. You and your channel. That'll yeah. be pretty cool. I didn't want to say officially because I don't officially have any videos out. Shock Top. You guys have Shock Top yet? I love, love, love Shock Top and Jerry Corona. loves my Coronas. Corona. You got you to gotta love Coronas, man. Yeah. There's a lot of Corona haters out there and Corona's just a very like smooth little beer you got to have. It's just, it's just always good no matter what. Old school underscore Jerry. So I'm going to post it down right here. You guys can see yeah. that. You can follow him on his Instagram. Yeah. And follow me on my Instagram as well. Same name as my YouTube channel, Marvel Kid 87. And it's just old school Jerry on uh, YouTube. No yeah. underscores. Yeah. So one, once we, we pop up your first video, I'm going to be linking all this uh, other information down on whatever video that's going to be. It's going to be soon. Picture <laughs> me on my street guy. To like get a logo. Talking about logos. Um, I have my new stickers coming in because I had a my old sticker for my old logo and I still had a bunch of them left and it didn't make any sense. So I got some new ones done. These are all cut out as well. So I might be giving out some free stickers, by the way. I just don't know how I'm gonna do it yet. So if you are interested in some free stickers, give a thumbs up, drop it down in the comments below, and then I'll try to say you got some stickers out as well. Um, so that's, I should have those stickers in by next week or so. Um, 
Going back to the discussion, was that, I think, was that everything that we predicted and didn't predict? Yeah, I think we got a lot of flack for the, the getting wrong in the sport glide. We, 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 yeah, well, um, who cares? I know, but, because <laughs> we were right, but the wrong bike, like the low rider yeah. versus the sport glide. Uh, I don't care. So it's going to be brought there talking yeah, yeah. and whatever. Um, Sportsers, I don't think we mentioned anything about Sportsers. Oh yeah, we were hoping for the new water cooled ones. We were hoping for the new Sportster Custom, which e e even for the launch, they didn't mention zip about yes. it. Um, yeah. Well, it's not a Sportster Custom, it's a 1250 Custom. 1250 Custom, but it's gonna be the one taking over the Sportster lineup, so. Well, that's uh, why I think they bumped the price on the 883s, because they're gonna come out with a 975, and they want to get close to that 10,000. How do you guys feel about that? How do you guys feel about paying more money now for since for, for 983 for the same thing that nothing has changed on whatsoever yeah nothing at all yeah it's uh, 600 dollars more yeah it's, it doesn't make any sense to me but whatever um i think that's gonna be it guys um drop your thoughts down below let us know exactly what you were expecting from harley davidson this year and what you were surprised about maybe if there's something new that they came out with it that you were surprised about whether it being the them going back to clutch cables and i want to touch on that real quick because uh, a lot of people are still wondering why they went back to clutch cables and just to let you guys know that they they had a ton ton and ton of recalls, recalls. on those clutch cables due to no, people hydraulic having, clutches yeah. yeah and the hydraulic clutches i'm sorry just to people having accidents like yeah. the, the hydraulic cable just it wasn't engaging the way it was supposed to and it was causing people to have accidents so that's the main reason why they went back to cable um just think about all the money that they're saving on lawsuits and, and recalls and yeah. recalls and fixing everything so i mean it makes total sense from a business standpoint of view just to go back and me like i said before i prefer cable clutches over hydraulic i just don't like the hydraulic feel well the hydraulic engages in the same place every time you can adjust the, yeah but like well like we rode just the lowrider s and we rode the street bob and the lowrider s let out early and the street bob let way the hell out whoever pdi that bike it, 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 it emptied out almost at the end like it didn't even want to work yeah but yeah i, I prefer cables yeah. all day it's just more you, you have more playroom all the time it's just you well, know i would like it if, if you have a cable clutch i could adjust it i like it just to come as soon as you come off the bar like i wanted to engage like the first like inch you just have to play around with it yeah me i, I, I like it a little more out further yeah I, I, like a little, I like a little more playroom with it um that's gonna be it anything else that's it man that's gonna be it I gotta pull, I gotta pull some videos <laughs> yeah <laughs> now nah, it's out there there it is um thank you guys so much for watching we're gonna catch you in the next one if you're new to my channel make sure to like comment subscribe hit that bell button to notify you anytime i upload any type of new content pretty soon you're gonna be seeing this guys content out there as well and that's gonna be it let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride you're gonna need a. Please. You're gonna I'm need, gonna need a catchphrase. You're, you're gonna need a little catchphrase. Can't do the gear. <laughs> Can't do the gear. Or you, 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 you need an opening line, a closing line. Yeah, I'll think of something. Peace. <laughs>